What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing well. It is Benny Norm Sunday. We are going to continue on with the journey. Um, let's freaking go. I'm excited to see where this story takes us, guys. Woo! You're both up very early. Oh, yes. Jacqueline and I are both early risers, aren't we? Oh, you certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in the privacy of your own room? Oh, we're expecting quite a large package today. As I say, what you do in the privacy... Oh, I'm sorry. You mean a delivery? Yes. <laughs> Do you know if it's arrived? Sorry, I'm not working today. You'll have to ask one of my extremely efficient members of staff. Oh, don't worry, I'll ask this one. We're expecting a rather large package. I wonder if you could keep an eye open. Oh, I always do. It's Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, isn't it? It is. No trouble. I'll let you know when it's here. We think it's going to be an absolute whopper. So we may need a hand with it, if you know what I mean. Leave it to me. Many thanks. Is it just me, or does everything those two say sound like absolute filth? <laughs> <laughs> Your car should be here in 15 minutes, Mr. Temple Savage. Thank you, Les. Now, are you sure you're going to cope without me? Being the manager of this place, even for three days, is quite a responsibility, you know. Manageress, you well... mean? I just have to pick up my best wig from Blow and Go. Do me makeup. People won't realise it's not you. How lovely that. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I mean. The level of service in that. Oh, right. Now, don't forget, I've been told by head office to start looking for an assistant manager. Now is the time to impress. Assistant manager? Well, come on, get your skates on. Right. Um, I was thinking about probably not using a roller skates, to be honest. It's quite difficult to give someone a ticking off when you're falling arse over tit. No, I meant hurry up. Oh, right, <laughs> yes, right, on me way. And, uh, Mrs. Temple Savage, I don't know where you're going on your little break, but whoever he is, he's a very lucky man. You look stunning. Well, one occasionally tries to make an effort. <laughs> <laughs> That's the man! Boom! <laughs> Sorry! Uh, Sorry! Sonia! Love her. Are you getting up or what? I just want another half hour. I'm on holiday, for God's sake. It just seems a complete waste of time lying in bed when it's gorgeous sunshine out there. Sonia. I mean, it's not as if this is the last word in luxury in here. That bed could be used as medieval torture. Sonia. I realise you had a lot to drink last night, but why you would want to lie festering in that pit any longer than you have to is a complete mystery. So Sonia! <laughs> Turn out the light. Close the door on your way out. I love when he yells at her. Bob's it. gone. Good. Shall I tell the front desk? Clive. Clive. For God's sake! Will you leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. Married life. Miss Temple Savage, your taxi has been waiting. Yes, I know. I've had to change again thanks to Tweedledum and Tweedledee out there. Who? Oh. <sighs> Never mind. Mrs. Temple Savage, you know your car's waiting for you. <laughs> what on earth are you wearing? Oh, I had Kenneth refresh my best wig for Leslie, but I can't get into Blown Gold till it's open. Well, in the meantime, someone should try and refresh that suit. Looks like something that gave me father after the war. Ah, don't you worry. As soon as it's open, I'll be looking a million dollars. All in loose change. Right, I'm off. Uh, have a wonderful time. Oh, don't forget, Les. This time next month, who knows? You could be assistant manager. You really think so? This is your chance to shine. And with great office comes great responsibility. Here are the keys for the vending machines. I don't know what to say. Hasta luego. <laughs> oh, any problems, call me. Just go. Luego. Right, I want this reception area tidied up. It's an absolute disgrace. There's nothing wrong with it. I want to be able to eat my dinner off this counter. Why don't you just do the plate? 
Or are they also in blow and go? No, let's get one thing straight, Matty. Or you and me might be mates, but there's a new boss in town. Yes, and he's being an asshole. <laughs> yes, what is wrong with you? He's wearing men's clothes, making you upset. No, let's get one thing clear. While Joyce is away, what I see a ghost. It's either my way or the highway. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You know there's no smoking inside. It's not lit. Don't split hairs with me. How's that splitting hairs? Are you going to have a go at him for having 20 unlit cigs in his pocket? I assume that's a pack of the 20, or are you just pleased to see me? <laughs> that's enough. Great. <laughs> you get this whole reception area cleaned, and you get that salon opened. Hang on a minute. Who's died and left you a personality in their will? I think they also left him that suit. Ha! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, Joyce is away. I am acting assistant manager. There's only one thing you're acting, love, and that's a complete dickhead. Now, kindly excuse me while I have a stroll into Benidorm and enjoy my ciggy. Uh, don't worry. I'll make sure I'm at least at the Pony Ante Beach before I spark up. Hey, what time are you going to open this salon? Shove it! I love it. <laughs> my way or the highway? I think he chose the highway. Got him! Tell him, Mateo! Power hungry. Ah, shit! Where's my mum? Gone to get your nana. <laughs> Didn't get any sleep again last night with her coughing. I'm sure she appreciates your concern. You're not hanging about with your mate today? Nah, he's not really my mate. You're joking? You've been stuck to him like shit to a blanket since you got here. And what does that mean? Doesn't mean anything. And watch that tone of voice of yours. You might think you're a tough guy, but your wrists still go all the way up your arms. What, and you think that's a reason to pick on me? Who's picking on you? You. You're always picking on me. Oh, Michael. Do us all a favour, go back to bed and get up again when you've stopped behaving like a dickhead. Sick to death, are you talking to me like I'm a little kid? Well, then stop acting like one. And if you think I'm ever coming on holiday with you again, you're wrong. Oh, no, what am I going to do with all that spare money? I don't know, maybe buy some clothes that suit your age. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Morning. Fab T-shirt. What's wrong with his T-shirt? That T-shirt rocks. Half the day's gone already. You sleep all right? Not really. Oh, I know what you mean. If it gets any hotter, I'll have to set my alarm to ring my knickers out. Is it the first today? Yeah. Pinch punch, first of the month. First of August? Yeah. Are you ready? <coughs> <coughs> oh, well, that cough's no better, is it? <coughs> Godmother, <coughs> what is it you want? <coughs> Water? <coughs> Cough sweets? <coughs> I don't know what it is you're pointing at. <laughs> Do you want me to get the doctor? Six. I want me six. Six. <coughs> oh. Wow. That's better. Right. Jesus. Let's get you outside. A bit of fresh air won't do you any harm either. Mother! Yeah. I'm on my way out. <coughs> <coughs> hey. Table. Um, ooh, table non bien. Oh, come. Oh, much as gracias. Thank you. Uh, oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, there's a. Uh, oh. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh. <sighs> Sail! Hey! Ah. 
What do you think you're doing? This is your father. I mean, your mother. I mean, whatever he is, he told me to find the key. Liam, there you are. I've been trying to phone you. I need me best wig for Leslie. Oh, it's going to be so nice. You're going to look amazing. Yeah, well, I need it now so I can get she in and get on with my job. Oh, well, it won't be here till this afternoon. I sent it to Alicante to get it done professionally. You're supposed to be professionals. You said it was important. It's important that I have that wig now. Oh, I can't believe... Right, I want all the HODs in my office in 15 minutes. What the HODs? You haven't got an office. Heads of department in the manager's office. My office, while Joyce is away. Oh, now it is Joyce. What happened to Miss Temple Savage? Hey, I'll have none of your lip or your father high jump. My office, 15 minutes. Here. Oh, my God. When did my dad turn into gerbils? His face does not look like a gerbil, it's more like an angry pig. <laughs> Can you make this quick? I've got a corkscrew pen to relax at one o'clock. I was hoping to get a couple of hours sun in before then. Close your clutter. I'll be having words with you at the end. Don't you threaten me with a good time. Right. Since my recent promotion, it has come to my notice that everyone at the Solana needs to up the game. You have not been promoted. You are just covering for Miss Temple Savage while she is on holiday. Exactly. And you've only got that because you've been brown nosing her so much over the past fortnight. The end of your nose looks like a Weathers original. Listen, one more word out of you, and I'll cut off your electric. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Shut up, Kenev. Right. Now we all understand each other. Let it be known. Let that... it be known? Who do you think you are? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> come on, you and out of all of them, and I thought you'd have been on my side. But I'm just saying. Leave it, Liam. It's like a woman possessed. Let it be known that I will be making detailed inspections on all departments as the day goes on. Starting with housekeeping, moving on to bar areas, pool areas, and the salon's hair and beauty salon, blown go. That's if I'm lucky enough to find it open. <sighs> Oh, Mr. Les, may I please ask one question? You may. We have had a call from a Mr. Norman Wisdom. Apparently, he wants his suit back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! How do you know about Norman Wisdom? I used to love all his movies when I was a bambino. My favourite was... All right, he... that's enough. Mr. Castellanos, you're on a final warning. Mr. Dubeck, stay here. The rest of you, move it. Really mean today. I've got my eye on you. And I've got your £400 a week on its way from Alicante. So just calm yourself down, or I might have to ring them cuddies and get them to send it on a little diversion. You wouldn't, dear. Try me. Don't mess with the Queen, Liz. You might just end up with a royal shaptain. Wow, don't mess with the Queen! She... Leslie got a chill. How are you feeling now, ma'am? Better now you're in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Aww. Where's our Michael? He went off in a sulk. Mm. I bet your mother's got an opinion about what caused that. I've not seen that Michael today. Sure he'll be all right. Any sign of your missing scooter, Madge? You had the perpetrators hunted down and burnt at the stake, yeah? It'll only be kids messing. I'm sure they'll bring it back when they're finished with it. Anybody want a drink? I'm off to the bar. I'll get them, ma'am. No, don't worry. Be nice to stretch my legs. Back in a minute. It's nice. It looks like match. It sounds like match. <laughs> it even smells like match, but... What the hell's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Helping people? What are you waiting for? Oh, Beverly, should we go somewhere else? We're sitting right next to Don't one. move. Sit down. Is everything all right? Don't speak. Just stay exactly as you are. I've never seen the sunlight dancing in someone's eyes quite that way before. <sighs> well, I think they're a bit glassy. I had quite a late night last night. <laughs> no, don't say a word. What a fool I've been to wait this long before meeting up again. Well, I know you're a busy... Shh. No words. 
Just let me drink you in. Such poise, such elegance, such... What is that smell? That's what I've been trying to say. I think we should move away from that bin. One second. Cheesy. Beverly Westwood? Hello? Speak! No. How many times have I told you the hotel offers no discounts whatsoever? Well, so what if they've been married 50 years? Stick an umbrella in their oval team. I'm sorry, Joyce. Where was I? Um, something about poise and elegance. Oh, yeah. Such poise, such elegance. I knew when we first met that you were the oaf are crying out loud. Speak! No, she can't have tomorrow morning off. I don't care if her father has died. If she calls in sick, fire her. That is cruel. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Running a hotel can really get in the way of one's social life. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Well, then, uh, Beverly, is there anywhere that can you... Can I ask you a question, Joyce? Yes. I know we've only been speaking on the phone for a few days, but I feel a real connection. Do you? I do. And I was wondering if you'd like to come over to my hotel. Well, yes, as I said on the phone, I'd be very interested to see your sister. Oh. What is it now? <laughs> no, what is wrong with you people? I've been away for less than an hour. And, hello? Hello? Bloody battery. Have you got a phone? Uh, um, yes, uh, somewhere. Rubbish it is. Diego, can I use your phone? Oh. Uh, senor, senor, here. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, <gasps> Joyce, dancer. Mikey, what's going on? Nothing. You fancy come for a wonder? No, I don't. No, I don't. Just leave me alone. Every time I hang around with you, I get in trouble. I could say the same thing about you. Just go away. Listen, Mikey, you don't seem to have too many friends around here. You should be thankful you've got me as a mate. Thankful? Thanks to you, I got a tattoo. Me nan's scooter got trashed. Nearly got caught selling drugs and lost all my holiday money. They weren't drugs, they were turning pills. And I got your money back for you, you ungrateful You little... lads all right? Yeah. Yeah, sweet Mrs G. I was just going to nip out and get a newspaper. Oh, I didn't think reading was your strong point. <laughs> if you pop, then. You stand there gawping much longer and that haircut's in danger of coming back into fashion. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um... See you later, Marky. Eve. You know, I've not really noticed before, but he's a bit of a dick, that lad, isn't he? Yeah, just a bit. Do you fancy a swim? Yeah, all right. Come on. Family time! Housekeeping. Damn, that you're dusty. Disgusting. Finishing off whatever he started. Tonya, <laughs> where are you going? Oh, don't be ridiculous! Why well, sound like that's not the first time this has happened? It's a box! Oh, she's arrived! Here she is, the last remains of Big Donna, Miss. You rest in pieces. When I think of how full of life she was, what a way to end up. Well, every cloud has a silver lining. The last time she sat on someone's knee, they ended up with a fractured thigh bone. So, we're taking Donna on one last day out. Absolutely. She always said she'd get to Bernadon. We're going to send her off in style. Oh. Mateo, 
You can't sneak as a big bottle of water, can you? We're off to the beach. You cannot go to the beach with your father being this crazy. It is like the cats leaving the sinking ship. I think you mean mice. OK, the cats leaving the sinking mice. Whatever, I am still going to be left alone. Come on, what are you waiting for? Mateo won't give us a bottle of water. You can have the water. I am just jealous you are going to the beach. Look, come with us, then. I cannot. I am on a final warning. From who? From Les. Oh, I think you're mad. He's got absolutely no power over us. If this was the 70s, someone would blow a whistle and be everybody out. What does this mean? I don't know. It means we need a union. God. And then when we're treated unfairly, all the staff walk out until the management meets our demands. Are you going to give us this bottle of water for the beach, or am I going to have to drink from that shower thing that the kids wash the feet with? Yeah. Enjoy the beach. Shh. Cheers, gorgeous. See you later. Bye. Luego. I think one quick cocktail before we head off, Nespa. Oh, yes. Pink pussies all round, please. Two pink pussies, no problem. Uh, three, actually. One for our friend Donna. She's never been to Benidorm before. While I was in Thailand, I set up a dance company with some of the people I met in prison. Prison? A complete misunderstanding. I was taking a shortcut across a field when an old groin strain flared up. I was giving it a good rub when next thing I knew, I've got two months in a Thai prison for worrying a farmer's cattle. Anyway, I set up this dance group. They were mainly pensioners. It combined elements of traditional Thai dance and circus acrobatics. <gasps> Our finale was the human pyramid, the idea being to get over the prison wall. Well, I got over the wall, but the pyramid collapsed, killing five pensioners and Chairman Mao. Chairman Mao? The prison cat. Oh. I went from Thailand's premier choreographer to public enemy number one in one admittedly graceful leap. You don't have much luck, do you? So, I came to Spain to look for a job, but, well, as you can see, things haven't worked out. Why didn't you come to me? So many reasons. Pride, dignity, not being able to scrape together enough money for a can of right guard. But listen to me rattling on. You were waiting for someone. No, I wasn't. Well, I was. But let's go for a walk. Are you sure? I think you'll be doing me a favor. Bad story, but she's always kind of liked him. He obviously hurt. No, sorry about beyond... that. A barrel of monkeys could do a better job. Joyce? Fuck off. Joyce? Wanker. Well, these are very <laughs> grave accusations you're making, Mr. Dyke. Are you sure it was a member of staff? Well, how else would he have got into my room? You, you might have left the door open. He came into the room and launched himself onto me. No, I don't think that was the case. How do you know? Well, you, you don't look like someone who's been launched upon. Oh, don't worry, I soon pulled him off. Well, that would certainly send him running. OK, I've got all the details. Young lad in his thirties. Young lad? I didn't say that. He's a right old ugly bastard. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was like a fat goblin bearing down on me. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> Not really. And he had this weird accent. Actually, now I come to think of it, he sounded a bit like <laughs> you. Where are you from? Me? Um... I'm originally from uh, Tunbridge Wells, although I did spend quite a lot of time on the Costas. Right. Well, I'll certainly file this complaint, and uh, if we hear any more, uh, we'll let you know. Wasn't your hair a different colour yesterday? I do believe that's a lady's prerogative. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, bloody nylon rubbish! Song. Right. Think so. Well, 
What's going on? I thought we came on holiday to get some sun. What are we doing sitting in here? It's a family meeting, Michael. It's nice in here, isn't it? Didn't know they had somebody playing the piano during the day. Right. Let's get this sorted out. What have you done with Madge? What are you talking about, Mick? You're one of them doppelgangers, aren't you? I once saw an Amorous horror film like this. In a minute, we're all going to wake up in the back of an ambulance in the 1970s. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. No, none of us have, Mother. We just wanted to check that... Well, that you're feeling OK. I'm OK. It's just that... What? What they want to know is, why you've been so nice? Nice? Yeah, it's freaking everybody out. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just enjoying being on holiday with my family. Look what I found! You got it! You got it back! Where was it? It was just left outside. Oh, I knew they'd bring it back. It was just some kids having a bit of fun. Here you are, son. Are you sure you can remember the combination of the lock on that purse match? Oh, no, please, Mrs G. I, I wouldn't dream of taking money from you. I'm just happy you got your scooter back. Actually, it's Mrs H. Thank you very much. No problem. Mikey. You missed it, Sam. What a lovely lad. Restores your faith in human kindness, doesn't it? <laughs> this badge got us tripping. You? Yeah. Do you know why this place is never open? Yes. The owner, he has a problem. Oh, what's the problem? He is, how do you say, fat and lazy. Brilliant. But maybe I can help you. How do you mean? Well, I am a barman, but I also work part-time as a hairstylist. Really? Yes. Just not today. May I? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Beautiful hair. <laughs> yes, I think you would suit the... Uh, chopitos. What's that? It's a very fashionable style that goes around your ears and your neck. What the hell is it you're doing? Nothing. Is this man bothering you? He said he was a hairdresser. That one? A hairdresser? <laughs> he thinks a finger wave is something you do for foreplay. OK, I'm not a hairdresser, but you don't have to be a farmer to stroke a cow. What? Oh, ah. shit! <laughs> oh, right. Well, I'm afraid our award-winning salon isn't open at the moment, but uh, if you'd like to come back later... Is that it? I'm sorry? You're not going to sack him? Well, it's just... I want to see the manager. He is the manager. I mean, she is. I have just been intimidated and harassed and humiliated by a member of your staff, and you ain't going to do nothing about it. I could have a field day with this, you know. No, I don't think that's necessary. No win, no fee and all that. Look, I'm sure we can sort this out. So sort it. Yet. Not you. You're sucked. What? I'm sorry, Marty you. She's right. You'll have to collect your things. You're sucked. You cannot suck me. I am the manageress. And you're sucked. 
Fine. I go. I do not need to work for no crazy drag queen. I'll tell Joyce you said that. I was talking about you. Fighting words. We're on a very tight ship here. He didn't get it though, fortunately. Oh, that was a bit of a climb. But worth every step. Just look at that view. Oh, yes. Shall I say a few words? That would be lovely. That's the bees. Dearest Donna, you were more than a friend, more than a woman. In fact, as in the words of the great Lionel Richie, you were quite literally three times a lady. Incredibly popular, amazingly talented. One of the few women I knew could open a bottle of ketchup without the use of her hands. Till we meet again, dear Donna, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Ah! Oh, oh no, so wrong. The red. They didn't cremate the red. <laughs> this is man's wig. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? As if I could forget. <laughs> Stolen moments together. Ballaraki 9192. Your wife wasn't stupid. She knew I had feelings for you. When Genevieve was on her deathbed, she said she had a confession. I said I did too. And I told her how much time you and I had spent together during that season and our afternoons of ice cream and kisses. Oh, my goodness. What was her confession? For the last 10 years of our marriage, she'd bought Happy Shopper instant coffee and put it in a Nescafe jar. Oh. I think being honest with each other brought us closer together for her last few hours. Strange how fate keeps throwing us together, Joyce. Maybe it's a sign. A sign we shouldn't ignore. <sighs> ah. You're dribbling. I can't really help it. It's been some time. No, I mean your ice cream. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Whoa! Oh, now this is what I call a day off. Definitely. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. Unless it's a six-foot Brazilian gymnast emerging from the sea in nothing but a see-through thong. I am not opening my eyes. It's Joyce Temple Savage snogging a tramp. There are, however, exceptions. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> oh. Where do we go from here, Joyce? I'm not sure. You'd always have a quick car bottle. No, I mean, in our relationship, in the talent show of life, it feels as though we're about to go through to the judges' houses. I beg your pardon. Marry me, Joyce. Let's own the stage together. Let's make the song our own. It's a yes from me. Oh! oh! Then what have I done? It's a head. Oh my God! It's somebody's head. Ah! Oh! 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 A wig. What is it? It's my dad's wig. What on earth's going on? It's my dad's Whoa. wig. These courier companies are getting very slapdash. Why isn't your salon open? We've just been waiting for our delivery. Oh. Come on, Liam. Where the bloody hell did that come from? I have no idea. <gasps> it wasn't a head. No, it was a wig. Oh. I think it's time I went back to work. Come on, you can have a bath. Ride a die, chick. Innocent. Matteo, this has all got out of hand. Did you not see me winking? You sacked me. I have witnesses. 
Oh, Jesus. Innocente. Mr Castellanos, is it true you deny all the allegations of harassment against you? I have spoken to my solicitor and the one thing I can say to you is these allegations put inside me are a huge phallus. Do you mean fallacy? Whatever. It's five euros an hour. And it's much fizzy pot and crisps you can eat. I'm not seven. It's all inclusive anyway. Look, are you in or are you out? Yeah, I'm in. Where do you want these? Yeah, in that bar. Then I need you to go on reception with young mate. No problem. Come on in, get your finger out. Isn't that what you said to the bloke you've just sacked? <laughs> oh, I love a demonstration. But I, for one thing, it's disgusting. Up the work, as I say. Especially that cute one at the end. What's your <laughs> stance on the situation? Well, it's an absolute farce, isn't it? I mean, what are we demonstrating about? I have been sacked. What? By Leslie. You're joking. Well, it was bound to happen, wasn't it? She was a five-foot hormonal dam waiting to burst, that one. Meanwhile, despite this ongoing dispute, Kenneth Dubeck's world-famous hair and beauty emporium, Blow and Go, will be open for business throughout. Come to Blow and Go just inside the Hotel Solana. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> but, hey, what on earth is going on? Ask Leslie. She's the one who sacked me. Hey, squirrel. Long time no see. Are you OK? Mrs Temple Savage, do you have any comment? Oh, my... Oh, oh my God! No, she most certainly oh. does not. No, give the lady some <laughs> space, please. Listen, Mikey, I don't know why you're scared of me. I'm not scared here. I'm just sick of getting into trouble. Just try and have a bit of fun, mate. But I know what you mean. Things did start to get a bit airy. Truce? Truce. Ah, nice one. Oh, and I know that's not my nana's school, uh, it's one you just stole them. Yeah, well, as long as she's happy. Yeah, Solana, what do you want? Mrs Temple Savage, what are you doing here? <laughs> Jesus. What the hell's going on? Uh, we're just experiencing a minor staff malfunction, but I've got everything under control. Under control? It's like a scene from Oliver. Get Matea and those workers back in here and... Get rid of these children now! But Mrs. Temple Savage. Now! There you go. Special delivery. What have you done to it? Come on, let's get to a telly. I hope you don't make me look fat. Leslie! <sighs> Hello. I'd like to book a single room for a Oh! <gasps> for goodness sake, get away from that desk! Go on, get away! <laughs> Joyce, this is absolute chaos. I know. I leave the place for half a day. Look at it. It's ridiculous you trying to run this whole place single-handed. I know. I had my eye on Leslie as assistant manager, but after this, she'll be lucky if I keep her on mopping floors. What? What is it? Of course. You could do it. I appreciate the offer, but mopping floors isn't exactly my... Cyril, I wouldn't ask you to mop a floor. I'm talking about assistant manager. Joyce, I, I don't know what to say. Let's get you cleaned up. I'm going to put you in the bridal suite. It's got a four-speed jacuzzi, and I could always come in and wash your back for you. <gasps> Let's not rush into things, Joyce. It's been a while since I've been intimate with anyone. I need a while to, well, get my bearings. Get your bearings. I think I'll need a map and compass. <laughs> Custom cobwebs. What a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love. What a day. I know. Drink up. I've ordered another two. Purely medicinal, of course. It didn't even look like Donna. You don't think they sent the wrong person, do you? How many times do I have to tell you? That was a representation of Donna. It's very Egyptian, including a bust of yourself along with your last worldly goods. How do you know so much about all this? Old Necronoris, the undertaker, was very knowledgeable about these matters. And from the way that I feel... Mr. and Mrs. Stewart? Yeah. This box came for you today, but nobody will find you. Hello? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, yes. Uh, sorry. Um, thank you. No problem. Whoops. Thank you. See you all again after the break. Hit it, Dave. I'm sorry, Mrs. Temple Savage. I don't know what came over me. People being assaulted in their rooms, child labour, a staff walkout, holidaymakers being propositioned in communal areas. No, that was Matthew. No, Leslie. It was your responsibility under your watch. That's what working in management is all about. When I was under Richard Branson and things got hard, I never tried to wriggle out of it. The thing is, Leslie, some were born to lead, while others merely to follow. I'll get us a table. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Temple Savage. I suppose that assistant manager job's out the window. I'm sorry, Leslie. You have more chance of becoming Miss Benidorm 2013. A burns. I think I'd better get pressing a bit of flesh. Aren't you and Mr. Babcock gonna have dinner first? <laughs> I'm talking about appeasing our clientele. I'm sorry. That was absolutely lovely. Thought that chicken was a bit dry. Yeah, it was horrible. But they're catering for a lot of people. I think they do a smashing job. Do you want to go out for a sig, ma'am? No, I'm stopping. What? what? What do you mean, stopping? I'm stopping smoking. Oh, look. Sponge and custard. It's like an old people's home in here. This is officially the worst holiday I've ever had. Think yourself lucky. At least you didn't get groped by a dirty old man today. Didn't I? Who in their right mind would grope you? Shut up. What are you talking about, baby? I knew they wouldn't sack him. Wouldn't sack who? Bianca? What's been going on? I said I don't want to talk about it. Now look what you've done. Smooth. <sighs> Dear Donald and Jacqueline, I please find enclosed the last remains of dear departed Donna. Give her a good send off, guys. She was one of the best. So. If these are Donna's ashes, what was that we chipped into the sea today? I don't know. But I'm not sure I can go through all that again. Oh, no, me neither. Let's finish our dinner, sleep on it, and decide what to do with her in the morning. Oh, yeah. It's no good. I can't get a minute to myself in here. I'd say let's go somewhere else, but as you know, I'm absolutely broke. Cyril. Mm -hmm. Yes, Joyce. Would you like to have your pudding in my room? I haven't seen what's on offer yet. I think you know exactly what's on offer. <laughs> Joyce, I've been calling you all afternoon. Oh, I don't have my phone with me. Uh, Cyril, this is Beverly Westwood. He manages the Hotel Alberta. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm sorry about this lunchtime. I came out of the restaurant and you must have gone to the loo. Mm. Unfortunately, I had to head back to the hotel. But I've completely cleared my diary for this evening. I'm sorry, Beverly. This evening isn't convenient. I booked a table at the Bellroy. I'm sorry, Beverly. I don't think you quite understand. Do you know how difficult it is to get a table at the Bellroy? No, my friend. I don't think you understand. Who's he? Oh, please, Beverly, don't make a scene. Hang on a minute. I recognize you. Didn't I have you thrown out of the grounds of my hotel last week for going through the bins? I very much doubt it. So this is what you're turning me down for, Joyce? A dirty old tramp? Oh, say that again. Gladly. A dirty, old, desperate, embarrassing tramp. Poncho! <laughs> Ten seconds to leave before you get a bloody good pasting. You what? You couldn't paste a roll of wallpaper. What? Oh, oh, boys, boys, please. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. I didn't do anything, I swear. Didn't do anything? My daughter is absolutely inconsolable. Mama, just leave me. Yeah. See the one who touched you? OK, so maybe I touched your hair, but this was all... You touched my daughter's hair? What kind of a pervert are you? Excuse me, we can't see the stage. 
from all this time Get out of my way! Whoa. You! Me! Outside! Now! Don't worry. Look after this one. Ow! Come here, you! Is that nice? Ah. Hey! Well, I suppose I should let you know what's going on. What? You're right. I have had what you might call a different outlook on life recently. And for good reason. Go on. Well, I've kept it to myself, but... Five months ago, to the day, I went to see Dr. Kundu. And, well, he gave me six months to live. Whoa. I probably should have told you. You! It was you in my room! <laughs> This place is full of pervos! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Special effects. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a lot of cool things that happened on this episode. Uh, <laughs> just first off, we'll say real quick, we got to do it. Oh, yes. I uh, just every time I see uh, Jacqueline, she just makes Jacqueline. She makes me, uh, you know, smile. So first off, you know, my hat's off to her because, yeah, she just brings a smile straight on every episode that we see here. Um, Mateo is the freaking man as far as at least standing up to Leslie in the in, in the beginning and stuff like that. But, man, my man needs to learn what a wink is, you know what I'm saying? You know, when he's joking. So uh, a lot of crazy stuff happening. So first, I got to say, uh, Joy, she is definitely ride or die type chick. It's insane. Because uh, with that gentleman, he was pretty much homeless. So she's making out with a, you know, with a homeless guy. He's probably smelling like crazy and stuff. So she didn't even, she gave zero fucks on that, which was, uh, just shows how awesome of a lady uh, she is. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have thought that most people would have been like, take a shower first, man. Take a shower first. So she wanted him to go upstairs for some pudding, boys and girls. Maybe a little cool whip on top of that. So, uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So I, I want Joyce to be uh, happy. I will say, after seeing Joyce for so long now in, in many episodes, in comparison to the previous lady, not against her, but I, I like Joyce better uh, on the show right now. She really is a great character for the show. She does a great job. Um, so, you know, even the simple things that happen, she's sitting down um, by the pool area and, and, and Donald kicks the, uh, you know, the beach ball, hits her, splashes. Those little cool, simple things were uh, great on the episode. Now, my man, Les, was on the insane power trip and power can get to any man or woman sometimes they just go crazy with it and you know sometimes people can abuse their power and uh it goes it goes to their head easily easily so with les there man i saw uh kind of like a uh you know, we saw the bossy side the angry side and just you know he just he's cracking down on them but at the same time when he went inside that room into Clive's room, that shit was dirty as shit, that was dusty and stuff, him tripping on Clive, that was great, uh, you know, Led trying to get a, a, a quickie to start, jumpstart his uh, new uh, potential uh, manager uh, position right there, so that was a great scene, which led to a great ending right there, with him getting pushed, where the wig comes off, but it's crazy how, how, how Clive didn't recognize at least the voice. He, he was getting there, but he didn't recognize it right off the bat because Les' voice is, uh, you know, it's like one in a million. So it's it's going to be very easily uh, noticeable. So uh, I like that when Mateo was getting sacked, people were rallying behind him. You saw Kenneth doing free advertisement, being a little slick, but he got Mateo's back, and I love that. Um, you know, it's... It's one thing, you know, I know we watch a, uh, a lot of other shows, but I'm telling you that family kind of atmosphere just does wonders for me on shows. It's like really good. Uh, makes me feel good. Now, my question is for 
if you got mad, right? She says she's got six months to live. And this is going to sound really mean, but how come you spent five months being a, you know what, you know? So like you wasted some time. So hopefully there is, um, you know, she has a, a lot longer to live, you know what I'm saying? But like you, you, you turn to leave off like one month left. So that doesn't make, you know, too much sense to me right there. Uh, that she changes her tune right now because, uh, you know, I think any sort of news like that will flip anybody's script very quickly uh, to try to make the most out of it. So, you know, you spent five months arguing after time or, you know, however long and you're not being nice. So with her changing it, we're going to have the code word doppelganger. Uh, that was a good word uh, that Mick used. And, uh, you know, I liked uh, <laughs> Michael's little roast on his dad for a second. How about you get some clothes that actually, you know, fit your age and stuff. That was a nice little roast right there. And, you know, Michael has definitely grown from when we've seen him as a little character, uh, you know, younger character in the show. And, you know, many shows have younger characters that they still stay on. And then you kind of see them age uh you know, accordingly, I think even like, for example, uh, Game of Thrones, one show that we uh, liked. And um, again, I, I didn't get to say it before a while back, but those that mentioned that uh, she was the shame girl, Tonya, uh, thank you for that, because I didn't really see uh, the face. But once you guys said it, 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 it um, you know, made all sense. So that was pretty cool. So that Game of Thrones was our first experience in seeing Tonya, although, uh, you know, not the biggest role, but... Great, but here on this show, fabulous. Clive, fabulous. Uh, you know, Michael and Tiger's uh Tiger's relationship, they're bro, you know, they're bros. So you fight. Hopefully they continue the friendship. Cause again, it is a nice thing for Mike to have somebody his young age, but so much good enjoyment happening on this show still. Um, plenty of laughs for me, plenty of good story going on, and um, we hope it keeps on going. You know, Kenneth with his cool shirts liam uh hanging out with kenneth i think that's a great um great uh addition you know when he joined up with the with this um blow and go shop so ever since then he just you know he just gotten better and better the characters so a lot of growth with a lot of characters a lot of characters have gotten better and it, it could just easily be that over time you just get used to characters um and you you, you form like bonds too, like where you just enjoy seeing them on the screen. So I love the show. There ain't no real wrong parts for me on the show. It flows nicely. A lot of little drama happened, a lot of comedy in the right places for me and just uh, beautiful acting overall with a lot of the staff, you know, Mateo shines, uh, Les shines today. Uh, everybody really, honestly, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, Mateo, my only advice Watch your hands, buddy. You're going to get more in trouble if you keep doing what you're doing. But yeah, love the episode. I hope everyone is doing great. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and um, be safe, be well, and we'll see you next time. As always, I love you all. Uh, peace and love. Peace.